why don't you just go to hell, David? No, in fact, why don't you just go? I'm supposed to be on a holiday in case you'd forgotten a loan. It's all right, I'll get the rest. What? Good to see you, Gran. Thanks so soon, darling. Well, what's happened to your skin? Oh. Gran, how the hell are you? I'm well, thank you, David. Now, stop that and tell me what Gran, you didn't see anyone strange hanging around out there strange, before, did you? No. I just saw this guy hanging around out there before. It looked kind of weird. He was a bit taller than me. He had dark hair and sort of a darkish jacket. Does that sound familiar? No, it doesn't ring any bells. Oh, I didn't see anyone. Now, you were too busy yelling at me. Well, there's no one there now. Oh, well, if there was a man outside, he probably wasn't even watching the house at all. It's just David being paranoid as usual. It's all part of the job. You should thank me. Not that you've ever been particularly grateful. <laughs> uh, drinks, anyone? No, thank you, Gran. It's all right. Well, you don't mind if I have one, do you? Excuse me. Yes, well, thank you for doing such a wonderful job. That suspicious attitude of yours makes life so pleasant sometimes. You were giving the evil eye to everyone I spoke to in Ayers Rock. Only the men. Oh, only the men. Well, I stand corrected. Just where do you get off thinking that I have affairs with every man I meet? Is that what you think? Well, is it? What do you expect me to think when you spend your whole shoot flirting? Flirting? David, I was being friendly, which is a damn sight more than I can say for you. I'm too busy to be friendly, right? If you're not prepared to work out for this European trip, then don't expect me to work my butt off for you. I expect nothing less than total commitment. Got it? <laughs> 